Staff Sergeant Kyra Dorn from the U.S. Army Field Band at the annual Fort Meade Black History Month observance. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. More from Club Meade in just a moment. Also this week, the AER campaign is set to start, a message from the Sergeant Major of the Army, and a look at the Chapel's Lenten schedule. These stories and more, but first, the 2020 United States Census is coming up in April. The census takes account of every person living in the U.S. every 10 years. Results are used to determine the amount of congressional representation for a state and the distribution of federal funds, among other things. Getting an accurate count is extremely important. Here's a public service announcement we produced for this year's Maryland Census campaign with Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague. Team Meade, when duty calls, we, the 1% of the American society that makes up this great military, we answer. We've been called to take the 2020 National Census. This census data is critical. It helps us allocate funds to our schools, to our homes, and our roads. If you, like me, want to make Fort Meade the installation of choice, take the 10 minutes, take the survey, and make it count. For more information on the census and its importance to Maryland, go to census.maryland.gov. In other news, another campaign is set to kick off. The annual Army Emergency Relief Campaign starts March 1st and runs through May 15th. AER is Soldiers Helping Soldiers by providing emergency aid through grants or interest-free loans and through a scholarship program for children of soldiers. Here's a brief message from the Sergeant Major of the Army, Michael Grinston. Army Emergency Relief is about soldiers helping soldiers, and that's what we do in my squad. As the only nonprofit that is 100% focused on our Army, AER provided $70 million to over 40,000 soldiers and families in 2019. For 77 years, AER has helped with auto repairs, PCS moves, and more. AER helps our Army keep people first. Army strong. Locally, we spoke with the Fort Meade Garrison point of contact for AER, who says soldiers shouldn't be afraid to ask for assistance. And just, just apply. You know, 99% of the applications are approved. And it, it can be any kind of hardship. You're not out there alone. That's why the Army sets up all these different programs to assist with service members and their families. So if you are an active duty um, service member or civilian um, or family member, you can donate by going to AERHQ.org or you can find a unit representative. Um, each unit has their own. Now here's a brief look at Army Emergency Relief in action. We came from Fort Drum, New York, our first full PCS. We stopped in a couple of different spots and then Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we had been there less than 12 hours. I sent my husband out to the Durango, which was on the trailer towed behind the U-Haul. He went out there and he couldn't find it. Sure enough, it was gone. AER ended up being able to help us with the flight back up to Oklahoma, going back up to get our vehicle, the expense of actually repairing our vehicle. I absolutely don't know what we would have done without AER. Just one thing we didn't have to worry about anymore. Those funds helped us tremendously. Army emergency relief was definitely a relief. In other news, the U.S. Army Field Band and the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office hosted this year's Black History Month observance at Club Meade this week. Music was a key theme at this year's observance. Event MC Staff Sergeant Kyra Dorn performed the song Rise Up. We opened the show up with a sample. The Army Field Band Woodwind Quintet performed homage to Duke, the Duke being, of course, Duke Ellington. This year's guest speaker was Major Victoria Parrish Edwards from the Asymmetric Warfare Group. A musician herself from a young age, she presented an early history of black musicians in the military. The Virginia legislature enacted a statute in 1738 requiring free mulattoes, blacks, and Native Americans to serve in the military. African Americans were forbidden to bear arms due to colonial fears of uprising and served exclusively as drummers, fifers, trumpeteers, or pioneers. The band's function to regulate daily life in military camps, give signals or pass orders in battle, and boost the morale of soldiers during wartime. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.